Well, we end this half hour with a BBC investigation which has found clear evidence that a cluster bomb banned by many countries under international law was used in an attack on Kramatorsk railway station. More than 50 people died in that blast, many of them women and children. Here is the BBC's Joe Inwood. In terms of establishing that it was cluster bombs that caused so much devastation here at Kramator Station, this is one of two craters that were absolutely crucial. As you can see, you've got a sort of a central landing mark here. That's where the bomblet fell. Now, when it hits, what happens is the shrapnel expands out in these concentric rings. This isn't like a normal high explosion where you get random shrapnel going everywhere. Here you see clear lines, concentric circles. You can see how it happens. The bomb comes in and then the shrapnel expands out in these waves coming up here on the wall. These straight lines. This wasn't random shrapnel caused by a high explosive. This was a cluster bomb. And over here, even on the lamppost, you can see it too. Clear lines. And that is what is crucial in showing that this was a cluster munition. And this is the other telltale crater, the other one that is confirmed to have been a cluster munition that we found. Now we're actually at the far other end of the station and this time it was on a platform. This would have been full of people, people trying to escape the war here. And then this lands in the middle of them. You can actually see two more craters there. Now those don't appear to have been cluster munitions or certainly not ones that functioned. But this whole area was a scene of devastation. There were pools of blood, there were bodies right down the platform. And that's why this attack caused so many casualties. 52 people lost their lives that day. Many, many more than that received terrible, probably life-changing injuries. Now, at the time and to this day, there remained many, many questions about this attack. Where did the missile come from? Who fired it? Was it deliberately aimed at this location? Or was it maybe shot down by an air defence system? Now, most fingers have been pointed at Russia being responsible for this attack. That's something they deny, saying they don't use the missile in question. That has been met with fairly serious doubt around the world. As I say, many questions have remained about what happened in Kramatorsk on the 8th of April. But were cluster munitions responsible for the carnage? That's not a question anymore.